Hey what is up guys this is Shukesh and today I have for you a very very interesting battery discharge speed test. I have just disconnected the charger so let's start the stopwatch and of course the three test devices on my right are 100% charged and to make this test fair I have set the same set of settings options. Before I talk more about that let me introduce these phones. First of all I have the Moto M on my right. This is the Moto G5 Plus which is the brand new smartphone Motorola launched and there you have the Redmi Note 4. Now as you can see I have set the same wallpaper and the brightness levels are also same. The Redmi Note 4 has better viewing angle that's why it's looking slightly brighter. Now there is no sim card and to create a real life scenario we have Wi-Fi on, location on and also auto rotate on. I have disabled NFC and sync. I have also made sure the same mode for location is selected which is really very important. Now another important factor is the Android versions which is 6.0 on the Moto M, 7.0 on the G5 Plus and 6.0.1 on the Redmi Note 4. In addition to all of these, I have also disabled all the smart added features like the Moto Display, Moto Actions, additional settings options on the Redmi Note 4 as well, Display Adaptive Brightness is also disabled. Now let's talk about the battery capacities. Well, you have the biggest battery on the Redmi Note 4 which is of 4100 lithium polymer which is really impressive, much more than these Motorola devices here. The new Moto G5 Plus comes with 3000mAh lithium-ion battery and Moto M packs slightly bigger 3050mAh lithium polymer battery. Both Redmi Note 4 and G5 Plus are at 100% but as you can see Moto M already lost 2%. In this context I want to mention that Redmi Note 4 and Moto G5 Plus are running on Snapdragon 625 processor whereas you have MediaTek Helio P15 on the Moto M. All these displays here are IPS LCD with 1080p resolution and the screen size of G5 Plus is 5.2 whereas you have 5.5 inches screens on the Redmi Note 4 and Moto M. Now there is no app running in the background so let's get started with this speed test. The first thing I want to measure is the battery drainage in the standby mode so let's switch off the screens and I will come back after 7 hours. Stay tuned. Guys the time on the stopwatch is 7 hours 2 minutes and I'm really quite curious to see what's the battery status of these phones. Well you have 97% battery level on the Redmi Note 4, just 3% is lost in 7 hours. At this rate the standby time of the Redmi Note 4 can be as high as 9.5 days. You have 96% battery on the Moto G5 Plus which is also very close, 7 days battery backup on standby. You have 89% battery on the Moto M that is approximately 2.5 days. So I'm not really happy with the Moto M's performance. Of course, the actual standby time depends on your usage, your battery percentage, your phone's age, number of applications installed, the network reception, etc. Now the next thing I'm gonna check is the screen on time. I will keep the displays on for at least 2 hours and check how much battery is depleted by these displays. Guys, 2 hours have passed so without any further ado, let's quickly check the battery setting. Well the battery is now at 84% on the Redmi Note 4 that is 13% battery is lost. At this rate with full charge you can expect around 15.4 hours of screen on time which is really very impressive. The new G5 Plus has 78% battery that is 18% less. At this rate the screen on time can be as long as 11.1 hours which is also pretty good I will say. Moto M is now at 60% that is 29% battery depleted so the screen on time is just 6.9 hours which is not even close to other devices here. So of course Redmi Note 4 is a beast. Moto G5 Plus is also decent but I'm not happy with the Moto M. Now I'm gonna try YouTube followed by some hardcore games. The time on the stopwatch is 9 hours and 5 minutes. I will come back after 30 minutes. Guys, it's now 9.35 so let's check how much battery is discharged with 30 minutes of YouTube. 
right now you have 79% battery left on the Redmi Note 4, 5% is lost. At this rate, you can expect 10 hours of continuous video watching on YouTube, which is totally crazy. Moto G5 Plus is at 72%, 6% is lost, that is 8.3 hours of YouTube videos. Moto M is at 50%, that is 5 hours of video watching, so again Moto M is not close. The MediaTek processor is to blame here of course. The Snapdragon processors on the Redmi Note 4 and Moto G5 Plus are really very power efficient. Now let's quickly check the temperatures, you have 34 degrees celsius on the Moto M, almost same on the G5 Plus but just 31 degrees celsius on the Redmi Note 4. So the heat management of the Xiaomi smartphone is top class. My room temperature currently is 24 degrees celsius, the Motorola device is slightly heated up but still it's quite normal, I won't say they are overheating. But I am totally impressed by the Xiaomi smartphone, no need to mention it's around 4 to 5 thousand rupees cheaper than the Motorola devices here. Let's now kill the YouTube app and the next thing I am gonna check is the camera. Since Moto G5 Plus is the only camera that can record in 4K, to make this test fair, I have set the video recording resolution to 1080p for all these smartphones here. Now let's start recording and I will come back after 20 minutes to check the battery status. Guys, 20 minutes have passed so let's stop recording and before I show you the battery status, let me check the temperature. As you know, the previous generation Moto G4 Plus had this serious overheating issue in the camera mode. I mean, you cannot use the camera for more than 5 minutes. The phone used to heat up to as high as 50 degrees Celsius, then the screen freezes and the phone stops working. Right now, after 20 minutes of video recording, the phones are working just fine. The temperature is as high as 38 or 40 degrees Celsius, but that's normal, I will say. I mean, high-end devices also heats up to 40 degrees when you use the camera for a while. So after 20 minutes of video recording, the battery percentage of Redmi Note 4 decreased by 7%, now at 72%, that is, with 100% charge, you can record a 7.14 hour video. You have 64% on the G5 Plus, that is, 8% is lost. At this rate, 6.25 hours of video recording is possible. Well, you must have noticed the Facebook notifications on the Motorola devices. This app is also on the Redmi Note 4, only it's not showing on the top notification bar. As you can see, Facebook and other notifications are also on the Xiaomi smartphone. So I'm not being biased, these phones here share the same settings options. The Moto M is at 41%, 9% is lost, that is 5.55 hours of continuous video recording is possible by this Motorola mid-range. Now it's time for gaming, let's start with Subway Surfers, then I will try the hardcore games. It's 10.30 on the stopwatch, so let's check the batteries. It's 66% on Redmi Note 4, 6% is lost, so the rating is 8.33 hours. You have 55% battery on the G5 Plus, 9% is lost. At this rate, 5.55 hours and 15% battery is lost on the Moto M. It's now at 26%, so 3.33 hours. So as usual, Redmi Note 4 is outstanding, Moto G5 Plus is also quite impressive and Moto M is losing the battery really very fast. There you have the breakup, you can pause and check. The next game I have for you is Implosion which is a really very hardcore game. It's 11.3 on the clock so let's check the batteries once again. As this is a very hardcore game, these phones here are slightly hot, Moto M is right now at 41 degrees Celsius which is quite normal actually, it's a metal device so it feels hotter than usual. The Moto G5 Plus is at 40 degrees Celsius so again no overheating, the prime issue of the G4 Plus is gone. The Redmi Note 4 is at 38 degrees Celsius so it's slightly cooler than other devices here. 
well 30 minutes of hardcore gaming ate up 8% of the Redmi Note 4's battery so at this rate 6.25 hours of continuous gaming which is just mind blowing. You have currently 44% on the Moto G5 Plus, 11% is lost, 4.55 hours rating, Moto M lost 16% now at just 10% so you can play this game implosion for 3.13 hours with full charge. The next game I'm gonna play is Asphalt 8. After 30 minutes of gameplay, Redmi Note 4 lost 8%, 6.25 hours is the rating, G5 Plus lost 12% of the battery which is the highest here, so the rating is 4.16 hours. Surprisingly, Moto M did quite well in this game. It lost 9%, so 5.55 hours of gameplay is possible though it's about to die just 1% is left. The next game I have for you is Pokemon Go. The time on the stopwatch is 11 hours and 37 minutes. Guys Moto M just died and the time is 11 hours and 41 minutes. So on mix usage you can expect around 1 full day's backup from this Moto M. Let's play this game for few more minutes. Well, Redmi Note 4 lost 8%, 6.25 hours of gaming is possible, G5 Plus lost 9%, 5.55 hours, so each and every time Redmi Note 4 beats the Moto G5 Plus. The next game I have here is Dead Trigger 2. As usual, Redmi Note 4 lost 5% and G5 Plus lost 8%, so 10 hours of gameplay is possible on the Redmi Note 4, 6.25 hours on the G5 Plus. The next game we have here is Temple Run 2. 30 minutes of Temple Run 2 gameplay ate up 6% of Redmi Note 4's battery, 8% of G4 Pluses, so you have 8.33 hours on Note 4 and 6.25 on the Motorola smartphone. Well, the last game I'm gonna play today is Modern Combat 5. I will play this till Moto G5 dies and check how much battery is actually left on the Xiaomi smartphone. Ultimately, Moto G5 Plus is dying and the time on the stopwatch is 13 hours 32 minutes so it took just 19 minutes to deplete the 7% battery we had on the G5 Plus and Redmi Note 4 is still having 26% of its battery. Considering it houses a 4100 mAh battery, 1066 mAh is still left, 3034 mAh is used which is very close to the 3000 mAh battery we have on the Motorola G5 Plus. So the battery usage pattern of Redmi Note 4 and Moto G5 Plus are same. I am totally disappointed with the Moto M. It's also worth mentioning Redmi Note 4 features a bigger display so beyond doubt this is the smartphone you should get if you are a heavy user and don't want to charge your device each and every day. Well thank you guys for watching this full video, I put lots of efforts in making this so I would really appreciate if you can give this a thumbs up and also share it with your friends. A battery charging speed test is also on the way so make sure you are subscribed as well. This is Shukesh signing off, have a nice day guys.